Hello everyone, my name is Helosun, and welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I've been holding that one in for a hot minute, but today is pretty exciting for me in the medical field of Star Citizen. Now, it is a huge upgrade for me because RSI has released a new ground vehicle and it is so exciting and I, I, I have no words. It's the new Ursa Medivac and my gosh look at the sleek black paint on it oh man it's so crispy the big old tires ah it's so cool i really like it and you can also use it as a respawn beacon all you need to do is just get into your medical bed and imprint your stats to the bed and if you die you can spawn right back at your ursa so exciting so now Really, you could put this into any ship that will fit the Ursa and use it as a respawn point. Only with... I think it's... Wait a minute. Why am I suffocating? Is my guy just like... dead? Right, anyway, uh, ignore that. I'll, I'll turn down the audio for you. But you can use... I think it's like a 20 kilometer radius for the Ursa and your destination so you need to figure out where to park it so you don't go too far so you are guaranteed to spawn at your medevac but my wow my heartbeat is going up very fast what is wrong with my character i think he might be overheating which has never been a problem at new babbage because it's very cold so that's is that a bug I've never had an overheating problem in this game. But anyway, let's get into the Ursa. Let's open up the back door. All right, look at that. You got your medical bed. You have a little itty bitty compartment. You have your touch screens and everything. Your digital touch screen to treat your patients, to make sure they stay alive and they don't die. And you also have your components. So much sounds. Oh my god. <laughs> so many sound effects happening at once. But it is so cool to have an ambulance in the game pretty much. And it's great. And I love it for my medical career in Star Citizen. And it's just... I, can't, I have no words. It's just amazing. Uh, I just love the sounds that RSI ships make. It is great. But I can't wait to take this out into the verse and help everyone that I can. And also, I do want to test the respawn in here. So we will purposely die, maybe. And yeah, let's just get into it, guys. Let's close up this hatch. Let's get in. Slowly. All right. I still don't know why my guy is suffocating. It might be a bug. I know I'm not overheating. It's impossible. You do have your loots, so you can put your armor in there. You can't put all your armor in there, unfortunately. It has to be pretty light, light armor. So I will put extra ammo and weapons in there. Food, med pins. And this horn, apparently. It's my lucky charm. That's how you know I'll always make it out alive. <laughs> uh, let's just put this, this bad boy into a ship. I'm either thinking the Corsair or the Valkyrie. Which, I never use the Valkyrie at all. So I might put it in there, because it fits perfectly. Ooh, the sound it makes when it turns on. Ooh-wee! Alright, let's, uh... Touch screens are so far away. Alright, I don't have my keybind bound to any doors. Because I had to reset everything in the game, because it was just bugging out. Nice! It is just like a regular Ursa. It drives like a regular one. But it's so cool to have an ambulance in the game, finally. Oh! Alright, so we will drive over all the way. And... What is that? Oh, the... the pff, never mind. 
Okay, well, we stalled enough. Let's get out into the verse and save some people and also test everything we can in this uh, ground vehicle. I can't talk today, for, apparently. I don't have enough caffeine. But I hope you all enjoy the gameplay, so let's get into it. I gotta say, it fits pretty nicely in here. If it sits, it fits. That's what I always say. <laughs> it looks so good in the Valkyrie. I think the Valkyrie was a good choice. So now, really, you can make any bigger ship a medical ship. If Now that I think about it. So really, you don't need the uh, cut, Cutty Red. I mean, you probably still could because it'd be a lot more convenient and easier to use than just having to load an Ursa inside of it. But yeah, this is officially a medical ship now. I'm so excited. This is so cool. It's like that one song, dang, it feels good to be a gangster. But for me, it's like, dang, it feels good to be a medical. Dun, 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 dun. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's get out there, boys, and I will see you in the verse. The Mantis. Oh, my God. I've never been scanned by the bunker, like right next to it. That's never happened. I guess they didn't trust me bringing my medevac. So I guess we'll halt for a minute until we are ready to go. All right. And that was quick, actually. He's just going to keep watching me. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Nothing to see here, officer. I am a medical personnel. But we're actually here to test the respawn. I know this is a lot closer than 20 kilometers, but I want to see if it actually works. If you do die and you spawn into your new medical Ursa. And I do have a set of gear, extra gear and weapons. Obviously you gotta be prepared. All right. That's my favorite word. All righty. What? I don't think I could. No, this is probably a really bad spot to land. If I can't get back up, that's going to be very embarrassing. There it goes. Nice. All right. So. Let's head in. Let's purposely die. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. This is an exciting day in store, citizen. Please don't kill everyone, Crusader, because I do want to use my submachine gun over in my medical Ursa. I'm so excited. I really want to use it. Okay, here we go. You say you don't want anyone to get away, but... Hey, buddy. Eliminate me. I'll do it. Put me out of my misery. You know you wanna. Come on. One, two. Come on, just one more shot. That's all you need. One more. There it goes. So ba hold backspace to die. We should respawn into our Ursa. Hey, it worked. Nice. That is... That is amazing that actually worked. I was worried that it wasn't going to. So now we can equip our backup armor. Get in there fully. And then now we will loot. Please work. Please work. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. There's six remaining and I think we have plenty of time. So yeah, we should have, yeah, that should be enough ammo. I'm not worried about it. This is awesome. Like you really never have to worry about dying ever again or like worrying about losing your gear. You know what I mean? All right, whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> there it goes. I was wondering what was happening. I was like, why did I have no ammo? And then I forgot, you know, I have to reload. All right, let's finish what we started. We have six enemies to go. Um, for some reason, the hit markers are gone. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. That's that's really weird. Unless it's just a bugged kind of mission almost because I did die. 
because this is not supposed to happen. But we still did the mission anyway. So let's get our gear back. And I do like the repooling system of your mags. Like, that is awesome. All right, so where did we die? Unless I do kind of want their armor. It's cool. I like it. Don't judge me. And where did I... There I am. <laughs> Looking good, buddy. All right, let's put you there. Uh, how do I get to their armor? I forget. Uh, wh which one is it? Which one is it? Nice. So let's get these loot boxes too, and then we will head out. And I will see you guys at the verse. Alrighty, boys. A new player needed help. It may not need the medical Ursa, but he's a new player, and I'm really willing to help him out. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me in the back. I'm always worried. When helping randoms, they could easily turn your back and shoot you. So you never know. But I'm always willing to help anyone out in Star Citizen. So if you're ever new, join my Discord. Consider joining that. I love to have new people in. We can always play together. I am scheduling a play session. So you will have a chance to play with the legendary Healer Sun. <laughs> I'm not that legendary, but I'm pretty cool. Chill person. All right. Here we go. We're in. Nice. For a new player, he surely is decked out. I'll give him that. Alrighty. Here we go. Let's open chat just so we can uh, communicate with him. FPS in this part of the planet is really low. Is anyone here? Or did it, did it just bug? Yeah, I don't see anyone. Holy crap. This is actually insane. <laughs> helping, helping him out and there's no enemies. That's That's crazy. Maybe I was wrong about 3.23. That's kind of funny. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just like any other Star Citizen update, it'll run smooth for like two weeks. And then after that, it just kind of, it, it kind of like poops its pants. You know what I mean? Wow, this is crazy. Can you hear me though? Oh, nice. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I guess this mission is bugged. So I guess we could just try another one or we could fight to the death 1v1 Don't worry. I'll spawn at the Ursa and then I can get my gear back maybe in here Yeah, if they haven't spawned now or we would have heard them by now, but They definitely didn't spawn. Well, I'm so sad now I was hoping I could show and be your new best friend in the game. You scared me You were it says you were over there and then the elevator started going up and I'm like, oh no and then you teleported there. That was funny. All right, boys. Well, we tried. At least we kept him safe. So let's get on to the next one. I'll see you there. So, yeah, I didn't know that was possible. And apparently we blew up going into atmosphere, which we went on to the next mission. I don't know what happened. I, I've never blown up quantum traveling. That's a first for me. <laughs> but... I, I thought someone rammed us because they were like, I am your end. I'm like, okay, maybe someone's coming after us. And they were, but I don't think they were actually after us. I don't know. That was, that was the whole thing for me. I had no idea. Anyway, all we know is we blew up and we have to travel all the way back to help him out. So let's get into it, boys. I will see you guys when we pick him up. Well, turns out my friend had to go. So... We're going to do some more mercenary missions while we still have our Ursa. I know we haven't done much ground missions with it. It's kind of insane because half the missions don't work right now, which is very unfortunate. <laughs> and I'm kind of sad about that. Um, but we're making the best out of it. I am waiting for someone to die and I don't think it'll happen because of Invictus and all the new players trying to, you know, get their hands on it but at least simple merc missions do work in uh, bunkers it's not ideal but you know hopefully this mission will work <laughs> and we'll still respawn at the ursa which is nice and if i look down there hopefully i won't fall i was being chased coming here i think we lost them but we'll know if you know my ship blows up all right here we go all right, where's the bad guys? Where are they at? I hear them. Oh, 
Don't you stare at me. Oh, look. Loot box. Two loot boxes. Nice. Okay, one there. Hopefully, there's a boss. That's definitely not it. Oh, oh my god. No. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, that was very unfortunate. Oh, I can't fire. I can't fire. I'm stuck. I'm gonna die. This is it. Oh my god. Run. Jeez. Okay, we got a tier 3 injury. Alright, it's not that bad. Alright, where are they all at? Okay. Oh my god. That was so scary. Okay, we got four enemies left. Where are they at? Oh, nice. Okay, they both died. Sweet. All right. Where's the last two? Come out wherever you at. Unless... Where are they? Oh, they are under the map? Are you kidding me? That's so lame. Well, <laughs> servers are overloaded. I mean, it's a free fly and Invictus. That's kind of bad. That's really bad. You can't even do a simple bounty anymore. Or a mercenary mission. Oh! Okay, well, there's one. I'm waiting for this guy to spawn. I don't think he will. That's funny. Interesting. I thought I closed my back door. Maybe someone shot it open. I don't know. I thought I closed it. That's kind of concerning. Okay. Treatment. And perform. Nice. And look at that. We're good as new. Sweet. I think that will be the main functionality of the Urza is just sticking it in the back of a ship that will fit it and just using it like exactly like this. I don't really see much people that will use this, you know, driving around and getting to someone. I mean, it could be it. I don't honestly don't know what I'm talking about, but you know, not a complete waste. <laughs> I know we didn't do much saving today, but we definitely saved ourselves with the new Ursa, and I love it. It's great. And I hope you all did too. It's definitely a cool little ground vehicle. And I will be using it more. We're going to be training with it. Saving more people as we keep playing. And I hope you all enjoyed yourselves in this video. It means a lot that you all are watching. Consider joining the Discord. Love to have you guys in there. Be best friends, you know. This is definitely going to be a very long ride. Too. I could have parked closer, but I just really wanted to drive it. Because why not? It's such a cool ambulance. I love it. I can't say it enough. But as we put our little car back into the garage, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Farewell.